Routers provide basic traffic filtering capabilities, such as blocking internet traffic with access control lists, or ACLs. Access lists can be configured for all routed network protocols, such as IP, IPX, or Apple Talk. Access lists can be used to filter unwanted packets as part of a company's security policy. Besides providing basic security for networks, ACLs can be used to limit traffic on a network such as restricting certain types of routing updates. ACLs can also be used to provide flow control for mission critical business traffic. While each routed protocol has its own set of tasks and rules to provide traffic filtering, two basic steps need to be accomplished. The first step is to create an access list definition. And the second step is to apply the access list to an interface. ACL statements operate in a sequential logical order. If a condition in an ACL statement matches a packet, the packet is permitted or denied and the rest of the ACL statements are not checked. If a packet does not match conditions in a first statement, the router drops to the next statement in the ACL and so on. If all the ACL statements are unmatched, an implicit deny any statement is imposed. This means that even though you will not see the deny any as the last line of the ACL, it is there. ACLs can be applied to an inbound or outbound interface. Applying an access list to an interface will cause the router to analyze every packet crossing that interface in the direction you specify and either permit or deny the packet. It is generally preferable to apply the access list to outbound interfaces wherever feasible. Only one access list per protocol per direction can be applied to an interface. When configuring ACLs on a router, you must identify each access list uniquely within a protocol by assigning either a name or a number to the access list. When a number is used to identify an access list, the number must be within a specified range of numbers that is valid for the protocol. Among the most common types of access lists are standard and extended IP access lists. Standard IP access lists are specified using a range of numbers from 1 to 99. Extended IP access lists are specified using a range 100 to 199. A standard IP ACL will check the source address of the packet only and will permit or deny the entire IP protocol suite. Using a standard IP access list, you can filter by host IP, subnet, or a network address. Since a destination address cannot be specified, it is generally preferable to place a standard IP access list as close to the destination as possible. Extended IP ACLs check for both source and destination packet addresses. They can also check for protocol types, specific port application numbers, and other parameters which give you more flexibility. Extended IP ACLs should be placed as close as possible to the source of the traffic being denied. In its basic form, an ACL is a sequential collection of permit or deny statements that apply to either inbound or outbound traffic on a router interface. While standard IP access lists are easier to create, extended IP access lists are normally preferred because they are more flexible. There are many reasons to configure access lists, but one of the most important is to provide security for your network.